I'm Father Joe Roche of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today we have a letter from St. Faustina to her friend Sister Justina from December of 1930. Potsk, 17th of December, 1930, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Dear Sister Justina, Thank you kindly, dear sister, for the short note you sent me, and I am very sorry that I did not reply at once. The reason is that I intended to write to you for Christmas and at the same time share the wafer with you, dear sister, on this beautiful day of the Lord's coming to earth. Dear sister, may your heart rejoice boundlessly in God. Sister, do not put a stop to love, for love never says enough. I am praying for you, dear sister, that Jesus' love may reign in its fullness in your heart. Beloved sister, please do not be too afraid of suffering. We ought to love it, because after all, in my opinion, there is nothing sweeter than suffering. To suffer greatly without any help, if the Lord so wishes, and in meekness and silence, is the greatest delight for me. Then suffering itself will cease and one can no longer call it suffering, but rather a delight. Beloved sister, I am currently in Biawa. Sister Aloysia and Sister Zita are also here. It is very nice in Biawa. The farmland is quite vast. You know, sister, I am so happy that the Lord Jesus is here. He is everything to me. How is your health, sister? I heard that you have been sick. But after all, everything that comes from the Lord is good, health and sickness alike. The Lord knows what is best for us. Please give my kind regards to all the sisters. I embrace you, sister, and ask for your prayers. Sister M. Faustina. Sister Faustina writes to her friend, Sister Justina, just before Christmas of 1930, a little over a year since her last letter. She thanks Justina for the short note that she sent. She doesn't reply right away, but waits to reply around Christmas so that she can send her the Christmas greetings along with the the Christmas wafer, very thin, which would be included in the Christmas card. On Christmas Eve, they would break a piece of the Christmas wafer from the friend and consume it as a way of being united in spirit with that friend. Faustina doesn't just speak about superficial things with her friend. She enters into the depths of the spiritual life and encourages her friend to grow in holiness with the advice and the wishes that she shares with her. She speaks about the wonder of the Incarnation as Christmas approaches. She calls on her sister to rejoice in the Lord without limits. Joy is a sign of the presence of the Holy Spirit. She encourages her to overflow with love. She tells her that she is praying that the love of Jesus will reign fully in her heart. This happens when we allow Jesus to become our King, the Lord of our lives. Faustina then gives her some advice about suffering. Perhaps she is responding to something that uh, Justina had said. Maybe Faustina, uh, Justina had expressed fear about suffering. But uh, Faustina tells her to not be afraid of it. Accepting the suffering that the Lord allows becomes a delight for Faustina because then she is united with Jesus who suffered for us. Faustina was staying at that time on a farm that the congregation had purchased which was set up as a rest house for the sisters and the students of the nearby house in Potsk. Faustina writes that she is happy that Jesus is there, meaning a chapel with the presence of the Blessed Sacrament. This is so important for a religious house to have a tabernacle with the presence of Jesus. Faustina writes, He is everything to me. Well, that sentence says it all. She asks about the health of her friend who had been sick, And Faustina uses it as a teaching moment to accept everything that comes from the Lord. He can bring good out of all things. Our job 
is to accept our current situation and to offer it back to the Lord with love. The letters of St. Faustina are valuable because we see how she uses every opportunity to bring someone closer to Jesus.